Hello and welcome to This Week in Bobcat Athletics. I'm Vice President of Athletics, Craig McPhail. We've got a great show. Everybody's been on spring break. You're going to see a lot of tan faces in front of the camera this time around. We had people all over the place. Uh, men's and women, men's lacrosse was in Florida. Softball was in Florida. Our ski and snowboard team was in New York. And we had people traveling all over the place, enjoying the time away from Banner Elk. And everybody returned to the, the springtime in Banner Elk. So hopefully you're enjoying it as well as you listen in and watch today. We've got a great show. Coach Poole's here. Chris is going to update you on what's happening and hopefully he's going to tell you what all's happening this week so you can come out and take a watch, see some lacrosse, see some men's volleyball as we get ready to go down the home stretch of the spring semester here at Lee's McCray. Stay tuned for more of This Week in Bobcat Athletics. back to this week in Bobcat Athletics. I'm Sports Information Director Chris Parker here with Coach Poole of the softball team. Coach, you guys just got back from a nice little trip down in Florida, won a couple games. Can you talk about your team's performance all week? Well, my biggest thing with them was just staying positive and learning from that experience. Um, it was a, a good chance to just get out in the sun and the dirt and play a lot of softball. So I think we learned a lot of it as a team, so it was helpful. And learning from a team, you know, you're going to have to have your leaders on a team. Ta Junior Taylor Billings, she's come a long way. She's got some wins this year. What can you say about her performance, not only in the pitcher circle, but just being a leader to the squad? Well, Taylor, I think, has really stepped up these last few weeks. Um, you'd be surprised, but she's actually has one of the higher batting averages, too. So um, she's doing it both in the circle and at the plate. Um, and that's really all we can ask from a junior pitcher. So she's doing well. Your juniors have been impressive, but also your freshman class. Uh, Kara Cunningham sticks out, so does Noel Cassidy. Among, and Casey Klutz at her first career home run down in Florida. Can you just talk about that trio and just that freshman class overall? Well, the, all the freshmen are doing just incredible, and it's surprising to see. I mean, obviously they don't have the experience that the older ones do, but it doesn't matter to them. They're just going out there, and they're playing softball like they always have. And right now they're playing lights out, so that's, it's what we need. We need it from everybody. So. And this is the time of year where you're really going to look forward to those players to step up. You jump into conference play. Your non-conference is pretty much done. Uh, you split with Converse last weekend before you headed to Florida. But this week, uh, you know, you travel with Southern Wesley, and then you finally get to play a home game. So can you touch on a little bit just the Conference Carolina schedule and then being able to play in front of the home crowd for the first time? Well, I know everyone's excited to get back out and play on our field. Like uh, Craig was saying, we do have the, one of the most beautiful backdrops in all of college athletics, so that's exciting. Um, it was nice to get that first conference win kind of under our belt before we went down to Florida, but we want more. Uh, I know these girls want more, and I think that we're going to fight for it. And our team motto this whole year has been earn it, and that's exactly what we have to do. We have to earn it. And Ernie, you play Southern Wesley on the road this weekend, and then you get to play at home against Emmanuel, and as we touched a little bit earlier, against a tough Erskine squad. So just for those first two home series, what do you expect from your team and the, and the opposition? Well, I'm expecting to have maybe a little bit of nerves, but hopefully settle in. Hopefully we get a lot of, a lot of fan support since it is our first home series. Um, um, we just got to go out there tough as nails like we always do, play our game. All right, Coach, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for having me. Uh, that's Coach uh, Jacqueline Poole from the, uh, excuse me, the softball team, and they will be traveling to Southern Wesleyan this weekend, and they open up play next Wednesday here in Banner Elk, and we'll touch more on that on next week's episode, and we'll be back shortly with this week in Bobcat Athletics. <music> And with a lot of home action that the Bobcats have seen in the last couple of weeks, we were fortunate to catch some highlights. So let's take a look at some of our highlights again from men's basketball playing against Limestone. Uh, so, and then uh, against North Greenville. But 9-2 at home. Bobcats definitely have the advantage here. Chad Hicks puts up. And really sprint out to their own. We've had a lot of trouble with actually closing out to shooters, so they get wide open shots. So I'm looking for that adjustment to Oh! 
team hosted Notre Dame Dan Demir from California and they were victors 12 to 10 and we have some action from that game as well. Look at Drop! 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 Drop!
Oh, 
Team won against Emmanuel in a, in a snow-filled event, but we were able to stick it out and get some highlights for that game also. back shortly with more in This Week in Bobcat Athletics. And welcome back to This Week in Bobcat Athletics. I'm Chris Parker here to touch on what you guys have missed the last couple weeks and what's to come uh, this week here. Uh, like you heard Coach McPhail talk about, we just got back from spring break and all of our student athletes seem to enjoy themselves and back in one piece. and 
getting ready for the home stretch here. Uh, men's basketball from the last time we could talk to Coach Harden, hosted Limestone in a quarterfinal, probably one of the most dramatic games I've ever been a part of. Elise McCray fell 75 to 74 at a buzzer beater, but in front of a packed house. So we'd like to tip our cap to the crowd for coming out and supporting the men's basketball team. Some news for the men's team, Austin Anderson was named Conference Carolina's Player of the Year, and then just moments ago, he was named to the All-Region Southeast team for All-Division II on the second team. And so he was one of 10 players out of about 20-ish schools to make that list. So Austin capped off a season with some prestigious awards. Uh, men's volleyball traveled to Emmanuel. They lost there and they lost to Coker and Alderson brought us on that trip as well. They welcome McKendry here on Wednesday at 7 p.m. in Williams Gym. So if you get a chance, please be sure to stop in and watch Coach Henry Schwong's men's volleyball team play on Wednesday. Then they'll be back in action on Saturday at 2 p.m. in Williams Gym against Bluefield. Uh, the tennis team picked up a win. Uh, the women's side did against Salem College. So Coach Don Marriott gets the first win under his belt. And they will travel to North Greenville this Friday. And then they will travel to Southern Wesleyan on Saturday. Uh, women's lacrosse gutted out a 14 to 9 win. Uh, it snowed and rained for the last 10 minutes of that game. And they went and t dropped a tough battle to Coker. And then they lost 7 to 6 to North Greenville in another dirty match. Um, they welcome Wingate on Wednesday at 6 p.m. at Tate Field. So I'll be sure to come out and support the Bobcats women's lacrosse team. Men's lacrosse did make the trek down to Florida, played two top 25 teams, played them tough, even though the score really didn't show it. But Coach Derry Thornton has his team headed in the right direction, and they will welcome Pfeiffer, another top 25 team, here to Banner Elk. And that is slated for tomorrow, Tuesday, at 4 p.m. Uh, the cycling team is going to travel down to the University of Georgia, and the outdoor track and field season is going to open up at Lenore Rhine on Saturday. So, a lot going on. If you have any questions, just go to lmcbobcats.com for all your schedules, bios, and statistics. And we'll be back with Coach McPhail to wrap things up. Again, we've shown why we're, why we're so good, and, and this, this week in Bobcat Athletics has really grown. I think this is our 22nd episode. You've been a great part of it. We appreciate you watching. I, I've found it really enjoyable to see people at restaurants around town who have watched the show. We've got some great young people. Obviously, we have great coaches here. And as we go through this final stretch of spring, and you're going to get a chance to see track and field, softball, tennis, both lacrosse teams uh, in action. I hope you're able to come out to the gym, kind of take a look around. We've got one of the best backdrops in college athletics. You're going to get to see some really talented teams play and perform. Our young people who are engaging and involved in our community as much as they are on our campus are, are great young people for you to mentor to and, and really kind of invest in with your time and your talents. So I'm looking forward to seeing you as we go through this process. And it will be summer before we know it. So stay tuned for more of This Week in Bobcat Athletics. Mm -hmm.